I had a franchise business owner reach out to me. It's someone I'd knew, known for a while. I'd helped before, but he had been struggling. He joined this this franchise right here, Real Producers, and for whatever reason, that the messaging and the training that he got there, it just wasn't really working for him. He had a, just a, his own way of doing things, and um, he needed help. So one of the things that we did from a revenue engineering perspective is we looked at the messaging of what it is that he was really doing. And essentially, you know, if you wanted to overly simplify this, they had a magazine that goes out to highlight and celebrate a bunch of realtors in a local area, and then you can sell sponsors to that and they do live events. So it's very easy to think like, okay, this person is just selling ads in a magazine. And, you know, that's, it's kind of hard sometimes to sell ads in a local magazine just because digital advertising, all this stuff, there's a lot of competition. But when we looked at the business, we looked at what they actually did and what he was really doing, it was something different. And we shifted the message so that when he started having sales conversations, we started resonating with people about how the most ideal clients you ever have is referrals, right? And we developed an ecosystem of the top 500 realtors in this area, which do over $8 billion in annual revenue. And they're currently looking for, they're looking for partners and providers like you, and they don't have time to go out there and vet and build, establish new relationships, but they want some new contractors, they want new roofers, they want new estimators, they want new people that are trusted. So what we did is we have an organization that we meet quarterly and it allows you as a service provider to these realtors, it allows you to be able to connect with the top 500, the people who are driving most of the business in the local area. So what this ended up becoming was instead of a magazine, this became a referral network where we gave you, a client, a fast track into the top producers in the local area who are basically controlling all the money, all the revenue, all the deals. And what better place to get referrals than from the top 500 realtors? So when we started selling not ads in magazines, the ads in magazines were just a way to prime the realtors who were looking at the magazines. So when they met you at the live event, then you were already, you weren't a stranger. You don't want your first impression to be the first impression, right? So you want to have, you want to have these people know who you are in advance, hopefully. So we stopped selling magazine ads and we started selling access, access to the top 500 realtors in a prestigious way. And once we did that, once we made those changes, he went from not closing any deals to having the, I think it was the fastest growing business that year. He ended up on stage. People were asking him at this huge event. They were asking him, how did you do it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and it was just a really amazing experience. He ended up making a lot of money and he since uh, sold that business. It was a couple of years ago now, but um, really great story. I'm really happy for him. I'm still really close with uh, Brett is his name. At least so I'm really uh, very close to him, still close to him to this day. Thanks.